Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a vegetable seed haul for you. I finally got all of our vegetable seeds delivered and I thought it would be fun to take you through and show you what we're gonna be growing in our garden this year. Um, I have quite a few seeds here and I thought I would try this camera setup so it'd be easier for you guys to see and read the seed packets. Um, and I have these split up into two different categories. I have the vegetables that we must have that we grow in our garden every single year. And as you can see, this is a pretty big pile. Um, and then over here, I have some of the new vegetables that we're gonna try out this season for fun. Um, this year, we ordered all of our vegetables from High Mowing Organic Seeds. Um, I have ordered from them before, and I've been really happy with uh, the results of the plants that I get, um, and all of their seeds are organically grown. A lot of websites um, give you a choice. They have organic and non-organic vegetables um, or seeds, and at High Mowing Organic Seeds, it's just all of the seeds are organic um, and they for the most part are pretty affordable and sometimes on those other sites they'll charge more for the organic seeds um, so I just like knowing that whatever I put in my cart um, is organic and um, pretty affordable so I'm a big fan of them um, so if you're looking for somewhere online to order your seeds. I highly recommend them. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in a zone five. Um, and so these are the vegetables that grow really well in our garden every year. And um, we just have to have. So and some of these packages have pictures on them. Some of them don't. Um, so I'll do my best to Make sure you can read the package if you want to pause and look at that information. Um, okay, so to begin with, actually, I could split these up into cool weather um, vegetables because uh, we start all of our seeds inside um, and we will be starting the cool weather vegetables first and put those out first. So let me see here tomato squash lettuce zucchini more lettuce okay so these are the warm weather stuff this is the cool weather stuff so we always have uh, a couple of different varieties of lettuce um, lettuce grows really well in our area and um, the nice thing about lettuce is you can plant multiple um, succession crops if you want. That's something I want to get better at. But the other nice thing about lettuce is if you can shade it a little bit when it gets warmer, it'll keep growing. So most of the time we are able to keep picking leaves off of our lettuce throughout the season. Um, and we like to have a couple different varieties. So we bought um, a red oak leaf lettuce And then we also bought um, the black seeded Simpson lettuce. And I know we also, there should be a, at least I thought there was a, um, another lettuce in here. Oh, here we go. A romaine, that's right. I always like to have a romaine lettuce too because they grow a little bit more upright. And for some reason in my garden, the um, slugs don't seem to bother the romaine lettuce as much as the other lettuce. I'm not sure why that is. I think they're just, they grow a little bit uh, more tightly together and then they're pretty uh, tall and upright. So maybe that helps deter the slugs, but love romaine lettuce. Um, Another cool weather plant we're going to be starting are the snap peas. Um, super, super good. 
Uh, you do need a little trellis for them, um, but we usually get a ton of pods off of a few plants. So these are awesome, especially if you like snacking. Um, highly recommend these. And then we always do um, carrots and beets too. So this year we're trying the Napoli carrots. And I haven't noticed a big difference in uh, the different varieties of carrots. We've grown a few different varieties um, and we haven't noticed a big difference between the varieties in our garden. Um, so we just kind of try a different variety every year and see what happens. Um, and then we're also going to be growing some beets. These are supposed to be a little bit more early than other beet varieties. Um, anytime a seed packet says that it's an early variety, I go for it because we have a short, shorter growing season here. Um, so, and I'm just impatient. So the earlier I can get my vegetables, the better. <laughs> um, and then we also try to grow cabbage every year. Um, cabbage can be hit and miss for us. Um, we found that starting these as early as possible and getting them out as early as possible, even if it's cold, but you can put a plastic cover um, on your bed um, to get things out earlier, um, really increases your odds of getting some decent sized cabbage. <laughs> Um, so this is something we're still playing with, but when it does work out, homegrown cabbage is so good. It's so much better than what you get from the grocery store. So we're going to keep trying it. And then we always have to have two different varieties of kale. Um, my favorite variety of kale is the red Russian kale. I love this. It is so tender. Um, you can eat it raw right in a salad. You don't need to cook it. Um, so I really, really love this. And then my husband's favorite kale is the dinosaur kale because he likes to use this in cooking, um, in stews, things like that. And this is a little bit more bitter, I would say. So not necessarily something you would just want to eat, um, just raw as is. So that's why I like the red Russian kale. But both of these are, um, they produce all year round. They do better in cooler weather, but even in the summer, they will keep going. So sometimes I like to put my lettuce and kale together so that when it gets a little hotter out, we can put a shade cloth over the bed and these will keep producing. So all right, so this is the warm weather stuff that we grow every year. We always grow a, um, I guess you would call this like an English style cucumber. Um, something with small seeds um, that you can just eat fresh. This variety is called Green Finger. Um, it's always good to have cucumbers for salads. Um, and then we try to have uh, a variety for pickling. Um, and usually pickling cucumbers are a little bit shorter, a little bit fatter. Um, these are even a little bit tinier than um, a typical pickling cucumber. Um, I wanted to try these because sometimes uh, if you've ever grown cucumbers, you know that um, they can get out of control kind of quickly and they hide really easily um, behind leaves. Um, so it's really easy to miss cucumbers and then you go out there a day or two later and then you have this like ginormous five pound cucumber that you can't even eat anymore because it's just you know, all water and it doesn't have any flavor anymore. So I wanted to try these because they're a little smaller, so hopefully they won't get 
super overgrown and they have tiny leaves so it's that's why it's called little leaf so that it's easier to see the actual cucumber um, so you don't miss it and waste any cucumbers so we'll see how this goes and then we always 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 have to grow a paste tomato so this year we're growing Amish paste sometimes we grow Roma tomato um, we like both of them um, and we really like these for making sauce at the end of the season and freezing that so that we can have tomato sauce throughout the year and then we always have to have some heirloom tomatoes for fresh eating for salads um, so our favorites are Brandywine it's a pretty popular heirloom and then I always have to have a Cherokee purple tomato um, the flavor is so good and they're just beautiful they have beautiful fruit they're um, they turn a nice deep purple color um, and the flavor is fantastic I mean you could just eat the tomato itself um, so we always have to have those and then we always have to have our zucchini um, I don't think we grew this variety last year um, it's called Dark Star. Um, I'm not sure what's different about it. I think the fruit itself is a little bit darker, um, but we liked that it was drought tolerant um, because the less we have to water, the better. Um, and we never know, we live in the Midwest, we never know what kind of weather we're gonna get. Last year we had a drought, other years we have flooding. Um, so you never really know, but if you can get something that's drought tolerant, it just makes for less uh, watering and worrying about um, watering in general. Okay, then uh, we always have to grow some um, winter squash. So this is uh, butternut squash. This variety is called Nutter Butter. <laughs> um, we have not grown this particular variety before, um, but again, it said it was early maturing, so I thought, let's go for this one and see if we can get um, the squash earlier. Because in our area, because we do have a little bit of a shorter growing season, um, sometimes we don't get the squash until well into fall, so um, we'll see how early we get fruit with this. And then another favorite is the provider bush bean. We, also, we always have to have a uh, green bean in the garden. Uh, we prefer bush beans over pole beans. Um, that's just our personal preference. Some people like the climbing beans. We really like the bush beans. Um, there's just nothing like a green bean from the garden. So we have to have these. Okay, so here's what we are going to try um, this year that we've never tried before. So first up is... Um, it's a, another winter squash, and usually we grow acorn squash, um, but we haven't um, gone through our acorn squash as much this year um, as our butternut squash. So I wanted to try something that was a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit sweeter um, just to see how it was. So this is the um, Burgess Buttercup winter squash. So it's just a little bit smaller. It looks like it has um, fewer seeds in it. So I'm looking forward to see how these taste. Okay. Um, I also wanted to try these sweet peppers. Another uh, plant which we did not order from High Mowing Seeds, but we always grow sweet peppers as well. Um, we're actually gonna get those from a local nursery. There's um, a nursery near us that has a really good variety of peppers, so we're just gonna get ours from them and not worry about starting them ourselves. 
So we always have the regular green and red bell peppers, but those take a long time to ripen up for us. And it's almost like sometimes I just want to eat peppers as a snack. And I always feel so bad taking a pepper just as a snack because they take so long to mature and ripen up. Um, so I wanted to try these little tiny, they're almost like bite-sized bell peppers. Um, it's called the Bengals Blend Sweet Pepper. Um, I thought it would be fun just to have something that I can just kind of pop off the plant and snack on and um, hopefully it will keep producing. So I'm interested to see how these taste and how these grow. We're also going to try a yellow summer squash. So we always grow zucchini, but we have not grown a yellow squash before. So we thought, why not? Um, zucchini grows well. Why not try a yellow squash? We like yellow squash. Um, so we're going to give this supersonic summer squash a try. And then we always like to grow some type of a melon. Um, in the past, I've grown um, more like honeydew or cantaloupe melons, but I have never grown a watermelon, um, partially because they're just kind of humongous. Um, but there's a variety called Sugar Baby, which I've heard other people growing these, so I think they're pretty popular. Um, and they're another short season plant. So I wanted to give these a try because I thought it would be fun to have some smaller watermelons um, that hopefully we get a little bit quicker. So that's what we are growing this year as far as vegetables go. I have put in my order for um, flower seeds as well, but I have not um, received those yet. So when I get my flower seed order in, I can also do a seed haul video to show you what flowers I'm going to be growing this year. Um, I have a question for you guys, especially if you're in a zone five, where do you like to order your seeds from? Um, and what are you going to be growing this year? Because especially if you have a bit of a shorter growing season, what tends to work well in your area? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, feel free to ask. Otherwise, if you're interested in more seed haul videos or seed starting videos, um, because I will be recording our seed starting setup, um, I do have some old videos from years past if you want to check those out. Um, but if you're interested in seeing that in the future, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.